Cathedral Chimes is on page 40 in your book. And here we're going to be learning about ledger line C's. So you're already familiar with ledger lines, even if you don't realize you are, because middle C, one of the very first notes we learned, is a note that's on a ledger line. So ledger line are those little short lines that are used to show notes that are either too high or too low to be written on the actual lines and spaces of the staff. Middle C is one of those notes. Middle C, as you know, lives right between the staffs, and so uh, it has its own little line there called a ledger line. But we also have other notes that either go too high or too low to actually be written on the staff, and so we're going to learn two of those today. The first one of these is what we call low C. So this is an octave below base C, and notice it has a ledger line right above it and then a ledger line going right through it. That is low C, it's located two ledger lines below the bass clef staff. And then we have high C up here in the treble clef staff, and it really is like a mirror image of low C. You can see that it is two lines above the top of the treble clef staff. And so we can really just kind of memorize those notes because they really create a bit of a mirror image starting from middle C and moving either down or moving up. So cathedral chimes will help us to practice all of those C's. So I'm going to start with my left hand thumb on middle C, right hand finger two on treble G. And the song, uh, I'm going to hold down the pedal the entire time. And the song goes like this. C. I'm going to lift. C, two, three, four. Then I'm going to keep going. E. Stay here with the right hand, left hand, I add C and A, and then down to that low C. And C and G, two, three, four, and low C and G, two, three, four. And that's Cathedral Chimes.